hey you guys it's jordan on my channel it's just jordan welcome back if you've been here before and if you haven't been here before then welcome for the first time and hopefully you stay a while so today i'm just going to be doing a little nighttime routine slash going to bed routine so i kind of really don't even follow a strict one and i need to so i had this idea to go on pinterest and find the little pre-made routines that they have on there i'll also link my pinterest if you guys wanted to save this little pinterest bedtime routine so make sure to check that out in the description box i am starting out my routine with a shower that's not on the list but i just feel like i can't have a good night if i don't start with a great shower so i'm just starting out in my little bath skirt slash towel wrap so it actually was sent to me by the sponsor of this video which is cuddle plushy they are an amazing family owned brand they are also sustainable at that which is a plus and all of their products that are made of cotton are 100 percent pakistan cotton they were so nice to send me over a bath skirt along with a towel set and then the hand towel sets so they do come in these like super nice boxes like i mean beautifully wrapped for towels which is crazy so that's how you know like this is this is not play play so they have it all wrapped up in little ribbon and things i didn't even want to open it because it looked like so nice when i opened it up but everything was super soft, super plush and very luxe, which I love when it comes to like my comfy living and my relaxing. I do not play around. Like if you know me, I don't play around with loungewear, like things like that. So it only makes sense that I have very nice towels on hand because when I like to relax, I like to do it all of the way in addition to it being a sustainable brand they are certified non-toxic which is also a plus all of their items are luxury made but since they are family owned there is no middleman so there's no markup price to add to the prices of their materials even though their materials are top notch and luxury so you don't have to worry about it being like super extra when it comes to prices if you guys are interested in luxing up your bathroom routine then make sure to check out cuddle plushy i will also put my code in the description box and in the caption for you to use at your checkout as well without further ado let's go ahead and get on with this nighttime routine guys oh i'm feeling bright oh my gosh so i just got out of the shower i'm feeling super squeaky clean i know it's probably like a big difference from what you guys just saw walk into the shower and then walk out but let me tell you i'm feeling so much better it wasn't a hard day but it was a long day with makeup on and i like how makeup makes me look obviously but 
on the other hand I don't like how it feels so I look very much forward to taking it off at night um now I'm just gonna moisturize I moisturize my hands differently than with um the rest of my body I'm just using this um truly beauty lotion that I did a collab with them a while back yes you guys I use the things that I show you guys <laughs> all the time um I don't know if I'm feeling extra special today uh, I usually do go in with a lotion and then their oil but uh, I don't know if I feel like doing that today just because I'm feeling lazy like I know this is the perfect you know routine so called but I just don't I don't know if I feel like it I think we're gonna go with some some um that classic Vaseline gets the job done, you know but I am gonna go in with my uh, purity moisturizer this thing it wasn't cheap I don't remember the price of it but I don't care how much it is I would buy it over and over and I bought it because I have oily skin and needed a moisturizer to like put underneath makeup that wouldn't make me oily but I do use it at night as well I know I should get a night cream I had one but I used all of it it was like the little kills night cream but I am gonna do this face oil because when I go to bed it just it gets me hype when I have like a super greasy face i don't know that sounds weird but you don't wake up with that same greasy face so it just feels like your body just kind of like soaked it all in you guys first of all i'm really loving this little towel from cuddle plushie because and this is what it looks like full length like let me see it goes down to like hold on a little past my knees but i'm really loving it to like put my moisturizers on and stuff because i just I'm just not ready to put my clothes on, you know, I just want to get all my bath stuff done. But that's actually not even on the routine list, but I have to take a shower, so I don't really know why that wasn't on the routine list. But yeah, I'm just going to finish up the rest of my routine, and then I'm going to catch y'all downstairs, because let me see what I'm supposed to do next. Where's my phone? Okay, so yeah, it has me needing to empty um, my bag, so I'm just going to empty my little work bag because um, it gets super junky with me always like throwing stuff in it and just taking it places with me. So we're definitely gonna empty that out. I really need to roll my hair back up. I may just roll some pieces, honestly. Not right now though. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to organize my bag because there's a lot of junk in here. Uh, that's on the list for things to do. And I mean, I get why because I just feel like your day will probably start better if your bag is clean. And mine is not. So it's not too much stuff in here, but I do want to like reorganize and stuff and just arrange things a little better. Put away important papers that need to be put away, throw away things that need to be thrown away like this this little mess with some makeup on it so first thing to go
so I'm finally settled down. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite parts. I don't know why, but going through my planner is uh, definitely a big fave of mine. Uh, so this is just like a mind and money planner. It's super thick because it's like all my budgeting and finances and stuff along with the planner in one. Um, Patricia Bright actually dropped this on her like brand called The Break Social. So if you guys are interested in that, that is on um, that page. Um, so now I'm just gonna turn and just find where I'm at. Um, I like to do this anyway, but it does say on the list, you know, kind of like cross out things. So I am just gonna kind of go through and cross out anything that I did accomplish. Cause sometimes I don't accomplish everything. So I'll just have to write it on the next day's little, you know, agenda. So I pretty much have everything written out. Uh, the list is not too long for tomorrow. There is one thing that I did not do today and that was edit my cabin blog. So I went like to the mountains to a cabin and I vlogged. I have not finished editing it. I actually am mostly done, but I haven't done it yet. I was gonna go to a coffee shop tomorrow, but mm, I don't know if I should just chill here or not. I do have a lot of editing to do. And I also have um, an IG live to do with uh, my friend Shaughnessy. So, so that's everything in that. I'm in love with this planner, y'all. In love. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me like kind of do like a little review on it. It's amazing. Like, it was fifty dollars, but it was worth it. Okay, you guys, I think I've pretty much finished up everything on my list. Let's see. So. All right, let's see what we've got left. All right, so we're to the best part, the 25 minutes of reading. So I did do a bit of reading in the shower, kind of. I did my little audible read, but um, I don't just do audible. I do like handheld books. So I'm still working on this book and that's only because I read like eight books at one time. Not literally, probably more like three, four books at one time to be honest. <laughs> so it's not that it took me this long. I actually started this book during quarantine but I dropped it for a long time. And then I just came back. This is something I've been doing since I was like in third grade. I used to like put a book aside for a year and then I'd pick back up like in the middle of it and I'd remember what happened. <laughs> So, I mean, clearly nothing has changed at the age of 23. I'm still doing that. Not a year later, but I mean, some months, yeah, I just pick it back up. But I only have about this much left. It's a decent book. I mean, if you like uh, romance, I'm not a big romance person. I honestly got it because um, there was a black girl on the cover. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no problem with reading books about different races because I read a lot of books about people who look nothing like me but I just wanted to read you know that had to do with um something that related to me 
romance is not like my favorite so if you like romance i think you really like it uh, my favorite is really like i love like thriller and horror and like stephen king and stuff like that that's my jam right there i'm just gonna read my little book before i go to bed um i brought some apples with caramel dip i'm sorry i just have to have a snack during my reading time i just do i like to snack and then not only that i also brought some bunions you know we gotta do the sweet and you know you gotta do the salty you know and then i brought some water you know to you know provide some balance you feel so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing for the night and then um it's not on the list but after that i'm gonna call my boyfriend i mean what am i just supposed to go straight to sleep honestly most of that is relatively what i do but i did add a few extra things like you know taking my vitamins that's something i usually do in the morning but um taking my vitamins cleaning out my bag things like that um i did like following that list because it made me check after things uh such as those so yeah i'll put those on my pinterest or i'll put the little list on my pinterest if that's something you guys want to use or look at but um yeah that's it that's my nighttime routine that's like my my ideal nighttime routine that if i was an organized person and had a lot of time and didn't uh, drive myself into the night working that's what i would do <laughs> so yeah but that's all i have for you guys tonight and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe I'm sorry that I'm leaving you looking like this. I do that a lot, I guess. But, you know, y'all my homies or whatever. So, who cares? Y'all Y'all look at me all the time like this. So I, I think we're just, we're here by now, you know. Clearly, I've gotten really comfortable. But, yeah, like I said, that's it. And until next time, see you guys later.